Contrary to popular belief, cosplay was not created in Japan, but actually it first appeared in the United States of America. In the first edition of Worldcon, a sci-fi convention, in 1939, Forrest J. Ackerman wore a futuristic costume based on the film Things to Come. This can be marked as the first cosplay. Hereafter, this practice grew very common in America, but there was no proper word to precisely define it. Only after the attendance of Nobuyuki Takahashi to Worldcon Los Angeles in 1984 that he coined the word cosplayer in a magazine article where he defined masquerades as being cosplayers. So what is cosplay then? The word is a mix of costume and roleplay, and its goal is to mimic and pay tribute to an already existing character. Unlike what most people think, cosplay goes beyond Japanese pop culture, costumes being made not just from anime, but also cartoon, live action shows, movies, video games and comics. Within anime, as previously mentioned, there's a direct connection to Japanese pop culture. Nowadays, anime has the biggest cosplayer demographic, from old anime, like Sailor Moon, to some more recent, like Attack on Titans. Another area which largely impacts cosplay is video games, including cosplays from Super Mario to Tomb Raider, and even characters with some more complex designs, such as the characters in League of Legends. Comic books are the third most prominent area when it comes to cosplay, as they have been around for quite a long time and are still being developed today. From Superman to Deadpool, Joker to Harley Quinn, Wonder Woman to Catwoman, you'll constantly see people cosplaying as these iconic heroes. How can we talk about these heroes without mentioning the classics, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter? This area has grown a lot over the years due to the fact that the majority of the previously mentioned characters, comics, video games and books have been turned into films. As such, this area encompasses all the areas mentioned so far. Alongside the movie industry, there are the series, from Xena, the Warrior Princess, to Game of Thrones. Just like the films, they have a large impact on the world of cosplay. Other types of animation, such as DreamWorks, Warner Bros and Disney, also have a large effect on the world of cosplay. However, in comparison to other areas mentioned this far, they are more rare and hard to find, unless related to a specific event. The most rare of cosplay is without that the cartoons, which contains all of the classic shows, such as the Powerpuff Girls, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Dexter's Laboratory, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and even more amazing shows such as The Amazing World of Gumball, Adventure Time, Wings, and Kim Possible. Cosplay reached Portugal in 1997, when some Japanese pop culture fans decided to dress up as their favorite anime, manga, and video game characters. At the same time, cosplay was becoming more and more well known around the world, carrying with it a large body of fans throughout America, Asia, and Europe. Ever since, the practice has gradually grown, and specialty stores were opened and numerous events were created to help saturate the fans' needs to participate in cosplay. One of the most important events is the Baranime Porto, which started in 2010 at Pavilion Rosa Mata. Around a thousand people participated in the event, and due to the increasing fans since 2011, Ibaranime was forced to change location and now takes place at Pavilion Multiusus Gondmar, and in 2015, 6,000 fans attended the event. In conclusion, as you can see, Porto is the biggest city when it comes to cosplay throughout all country. You could say, without a doubt, that Porto is no longer just Porto, but Cos Porto. <laughs>